During the visit of the Prime Minister to Washington and his meeting, in the presence of the Governor of the Central Bank, with the U.S. Treasury delegation, and the negotiations that took place regarding the financial and banking reform strategy implemented by the government and the central bank, the American side emphasized its praise of the reform measures and steps, which resulted in organizing foreign trade financing and complying with international standards in 2023 and the past months of 2024, and to bridge part of the gap between the official price and the price equivalent to the dinar exchange rate against the U.S. dollar. This refutes the criticisms allegations and media exaggerations of some satellite channels by insulting the central bank and the banking sector, and pointing out some violations in the issue of controlling the monetary dollar, which were addressed at the time of the beginning of the application of the electronic platform. What is important and what must be confirmed now is that 100% of the external transfers that were made were in accordance with the relationship what is new between our banks and international correspondent banks, in accordance with the instructions and mechanisms of the electronic platform are sound and transparent transfers in accordance with international standards, and that the window for selling foreign currency is an economic indicator that achieves one of the objectives of monetary policy, accusing the central bank and banks of wasting foreign currency, without evidence proving the existence of suspicions of corruption, money laundering, or currency smuggling, and the proposition that says selling currency is a waste of public money, is a description that has nothing to do with the economic process. It must be noted that, the process of the currency sale window began to be implemented by the central bank on 10 quarters, 2000 for an implementation of Article 28 of the Central Bank Law No. 56 of 2004, which allows the central bank to buy and sell foreign currency, and this process has continued to meet the needs of the Ministry of Finance for Currency. The local government, for the purposes of the operating budget, purchased the dinar from the public for the purpose of controlling liquidity levels, which is known as the monetary sterilization process on the one hand and to recycle the dinar and resell it to the Ministry of Finance, for the purposes of paying salaries and wages, securing government expenditures, as well as meeting and covering imports, and maintaining the stability of the exchange rate targeted by the central bank. The foreign currency selling window is considered one of the largest open market operations in controlling local liquidity levels and putting the cash surplus on its proper paths. It is a good economic indicator and achieves one of the goals of monetary policy, and this is consistent with the multidimensional functions that the Central Bank of Iraq performs, as it is concerned with financial stability. It manages the payment system, manages foreign reserves, licenses and monitors banks and financial institutions, and sets preventive controls, in addition to other tasks related to monetary issuance and publishing economic data, indicators and forecasts. The basic tasks carried out by the Central Bank are to manage monetary policy, which aims to control inflation, stimulate the economy, balance the balance of payments, and achieve monetary stability.